Hello everybody, my name is Matt and welcome to the Matthew Brown Ministries YouTube channel. Now, if you're watching this at the time this is being uploaded, you're probably wondering, Matt, why are you welcoming us? You've uploaded here before. Oh wait, there's no videos left, Matt. What happened to those videos? Well, to give you some context as to why I did that, I'm going to answer that first before I go through and say what we're going to be doing with this channel going forward because that's probably the question that a lot of people are wondering seeing this at the time. If you're watching this way later, you're probably like, who cares? But if you're watching this when it's being uploaded, there's an understandable cause for concern. But let me tell you why I did what I did. So I started preaching back when I was around the age of 16, 17 years old. Over time, as I began to work on this craft, I began to notice that I was changing how I presented things based on response. Now, starting out, that's kind of a good thing because you're learning how to read your audience, you're learning how to properly public speak and do things like that. However, after some time, it became unhealthy how I was seeing the opinions of others. It became not a awareness of man, but a fear of man. What I mean by that is that I became so, so fearful of what men thought about my content that if it wasn't what I wanted it to be, Initially, I would edit it, and then if I didn't like that version, I would edit it. If I didn't like that, I would edit it. And by the time it actually got published, or by the time it actually got re-uploaded, if it was deleted before, it was an edited version of myself, not really authentically me anymore. And the, the whole motivation behind it is I want it to be more appealing to other people not because I feel like, you know, the Lord's doing something in me in that message. It's simply out of the fear of man. And over the last few months, you might have noticed I haven't been uploading at all to this channel or, or anything. I haven't been uploading to my Facebook or, or anything at all because the Lord's really been convicting me in that, that I've been allowing myself to be too swayed by the opinions of others. And I didn't even realize it. I didn't even realize it was a problem. It was something that I kind of had buried deep within myself that once it started to peek its head out, because you know that's how the Holy Spirit operates, he brings some things to the light that were hidden in the dark, um, I noticed that part of myself. I, I wasn't really myself in almost everything I was uploading. So I went ahead and just decided to delete the entire, uh, the entire playlist of videos that I had before this one so that we can start this fresh and it be authentically me. That's simply what it is. I didn't get banned. I didn't get canceled. Nothing bad happened. It was just out of conviction. Um, so, yeah, that's simply it. But to kind of give you a heads up as to what's to come in the future, I'm trying to keep this video relatively short because people don't normally watch welcome videos. But to kind of give you an idea as to what to expect in the future is a wide range of things. It's not just going to be one particular idea, but there's going to be different playlists throughout my entire channel that has different things. So one chat, one playlist might be a book of the Bible, and we go verse by verse through that book of the Bible. One playlist may be a book review. Maybe I talk about some books that I've read and tell you what I liked or disliked about that books. Maybe there's a playlist where we take commonly quoted Bible verses and see if the context lines up with the way people quote them today. Maybe we talk about cultural hot topics such as, you know, social justice, LGBTQ, um, politics, things like that. Maybe we address some of those questions that others really aren't willing to talk about. Um, maybe we talk with other people, have interviews with other people and things like that and get their perspective, even if it's different than my own, or maybe one that I would say different, or one that I don't really agree with, but just allowing those voices to be present to have as many perspectives as possible. Regardless, I want to start uploading more consistently. Pot uh, potentially twice a week is what the ultimate goal is, 
but at minimum once per week. I don't know what day of the week. Most likely closer to the weekend. I'd say maybe a Friday or a Saturday. Well, not Saturday. Saturday is my Sabbath. Probably more like a Thursday, Friday, maybe even a Sunday is what I'm thinking, but that is not going to be consistent. I don't want to say that and it, it be inconsistent and have to apologize later for saying that. My recommendation is, is down here to hit subscribe. I'm not saying to hit subscribe so I get all these crazy subscribers. That's that's not why I'm saying that. The only reason I'm suggesting subscribing is one, because if you want to do it, it's there. But also there's a notification bell when you subscribe that you can hit and it gives you a notification, whether through your phone, through email, through the YouTube uh, page itself, it'll have like a notification up in the top right by the little bell telling you exactly when I upload. That way you can watch them when they come out and you don't have to wait for me to post it on Facebook or post it on whatever it, social media I put it on. You can just see it as it is and, and then when it's uploaded. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, what I'm planning on doing with this channel. Um, I don't exactly know what's to come next. I haven't decided on what I'm going to start with. I'm thinking of starting with... Uh, well, you know what? I'm not even going to make a commitment because there's a, there's a good chance that I'm going to do multiple things at the same time. I might do, you know, Genesis chapter one, and then the next video be on a cultural hot topic, then an interview, and then Genesis chapter two. You know, like it may be something that we don't do all consecutively, but they all get organized into a playlist to where you can watch those on the playlist and uh, and learn from those accordingly. But anyways, I, I'm really uh, excited to see what the Lord's going to be doing in this. My hope is not to gain a ton of subscribers, although, you know, if the Lord wants to do that, that's awesome. The main reason that I'm doing this is I want there to be a place where people can come and maybe hear some perspectives that are different than their own, uh, because I've noticed over the last, I'd say two years especially, through a lot of deconstruction and reconstruction, that my opinion is very different than a lot of people around me. I don't know how it how it compares to other opinions elsewhere, but I live in the Bible Belt, and so my opinions on anything in the Bible are pretty different than a lot of Bible Belt Christians. Um, so there might be some stuff that you hear that is just different. The main thing that I want this to be, though, is permission to go deeper in your study with your study and your intimacy with Jesus. And to have permission to ask questions. I want there to be a space where you're hearing me ask questions, and hopefully that pushes you to ask questions as well. Because that's what changed my life. A teacher that really impacted me was Marty Solomon through the Bama podcast. And his whole podcast was built on the idea of wrestling and asking questions and and allowing yourself to deconstruct and reconstruct when necessary when other people tell you that you're not supposed to do that. I want to do the same thing for others because that's what changed my life. Um, if, you, if you're coming to this channel and you realize that you don't like the content that's put out, that's totally fine. It's not going to hurt my feelings if you don't want to watch it or if you don't want to be a part of it. If, you don't, if you're not learning from this, I don't want you to waste your time. And that's, that's not to, I'm not saying that in a condescending way. It's like I truly love you and I don't want you to, uh, to come to this and, and think that like, you have to watch these because obviously you can do whatever you want and it's not going to hurt my feelings if you're like, Hey Matt, this is just not for me. That's great. Um, also I don't want this to be a page where people are arguing in the comment section. I'm listen, I'm not interested at all in any debates in the comment section. If you disagree with me, fantastic, but don't use the comment section as a place to try to argue and persuade people that what I'm saying is not right because this is going to sound really arrogant, but this is my channel. Like People are coming to this channel to watch the content that is put out by Matthew Brown Ministries. That's what this YouTube channel is. And so if you're coming to the channel to be condescending or to be um, judgmental, or maybe you're coming to ha hash out with other people in the comment section, your comments will be deleted. And uh, there's a good chance that I don't know how YouTube does it, but there may be a good chance that you're blocked from either seeing the videos or blocked from commenting or whatever it may be. If the comments get bad enough, we may even turn comments off altogether. I don't exactly know. I know I, I just know that YouTube can be very, very toxic, especially when it comes to uh, 
Christianity, which is so ironic. But anyways, um, I'm almost I'm passing ten minutes as we speak, at least on my counter. I guess it's a little bit behind that once I edit this. But um, that's gonna be it for this one. I want to leave plenty of room for the next discussions. Uh, but if you have any questions at all, facebook.com slash Matthew Brown Ministries. You can send me a message there. Um, you can comment here uh, and ask questions if you have questions, and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. And uh, I'm happy to help out in any way that I can. Um, I'm looking to have a website as well down the road. I don't exactly know when that'll be. They're pretty expensive with my current budget. Um, I don't really need one right now, honestly, until I start uploading way more often. Then we may throw one out there. But anyways, I'm rambling now. Um, that's going to be it for this one. And I hope this is all helpful for you guys. And I hope that you guys learn going forward from this content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.